So it's Kaylee. It's been a while. Um, I had a really great time at the Hatathon. Um, there were a lot of Maybelline hats, and I just wanted to make this little vlog video to kind of document how our night went with Zinnia and Susan and Olivia. We made Mad Maps. I think it goes a really amazing website. So I think this will be our little document detailing how it went. Video. Oh. <laughs> something bad will happen to me here. It is something. Sorry, sorry. Olivia. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, let's take a photo. Yay. This is a video. Yay. Maybe. I love having this freedom to buy whatever I want. I know. <laughs> it would be the I, um, ask me once. Is that Olivia? That is Olivia. Is Olivia.
Alright, so I have just finished screen recording all the Mad Maps things that I will need. Let's try and see how the voiceover thing works. I will try my best. Alright, so here's a really quick tour through the functionality of the homepage. One click on the top left icon brings you back to the homepage. As you can see, here's the parallax, the summary, as well as the maps, and the icon back down on the bottom footer again, designed by Olivia. And you can see the parallax, the functionality of it, and one click on the map up top gives you, scrolls you down back to the maps at the bottom, which is the main functionality which the entire website is built around. For example, clicking around on the custom icon shows you different restaurants, bars, dairy, restaurants and even brunch places and bars again activities and entertainment shows you things like sports venues and even things like um music venues and even places to hang out and parks and things geared towards certain demographics like children and children's museums going to shopping it's mostly divided up into two things such as business institutions and then events for example you have the night market and the farmer's market as well as locally owned businesses in here in blue. We are back on the homepage again. On the top left now we, on the tab, you can see our personal logo in the bar. So going into lists, you can see we've got this carousel. You can see the local shops, the parks, the entertainment, as well as the restaurants. And scrolling down, you can see our list categorized into these four main things. So clicking into restaurants and bars and then Asian, you can see how we have painstakingly curated the top of the top restaurants in Madison and done them by category. For example, in Chinese, we have Ichiban Sichuan restaurant and this goes into the page for the restaurant. And also for Japanese, we're supporting local restaurants. We are going into the restaurant page of the ramen kid. So scrolling back up, we visit Cal and this is basically it's supposed to be a curated list of community curated list of events in Madison so here we have a summary of our reasoning behind building this and a little summary of our project in itself so clicking back on the icon go to the home page hello it's Kaylee again hope you enjoyed that video yep it's my NC web poster I'm in my room right now but yeah um, I was really looking forward to high school, not high school, college, college hackathons in um, coming into UW Madison. So this being my first one, I was really excited and I was really happy with how it turned out, especially with the best team I could have asked for.